and I'm actually starting this over. Hi guys. <laughs> I actually just filmed a little like clip and I watched it back and it's too loud and it would drive me nuts just editing it. And I'm not going to do that to you guys. So <laughs> hi. Anyway, I am making dinner tonight. Thursdays are kind of my like solo nights where I just kind of make something super simple, but with enough for leftovers for Nate to take to work the next day. But he usually works late on Thursdays. Anyway, super simple, but this sounded really good. And I think I actually did this last week. This is the Korean beefless bulgogi from Trader Joe's. I, we will actually, both Nate and I did a video taste test on that specifically. We love it. Here's the thing. I have not heard that it is discontinued or anything, but, but I am seeing some posts recently where people are having a really hard time finding it and like it's not in stock right now, but I don't know. I had two in the freezer. This was my last one. And so I hadn't really like specifically looked for it the last time I was there, but I'm thinking of going this weekend. And if it's there, I'm totally stocking up because if that's already getting discontinued, uh-uh, <laughs> it's so good. It's delicious, my friends. Look at this. It's wonderful. And you just heat it up. Super simple. Got some rice back there, almost done. And then in here, zucchini just gonna like brown it up a little bit too but i'm letting it steam some put a little mrs dash on it pick this up actually at uh sam's club today i didn't technically double check the ingredients but we're good to go we're good do they call it dash now hold on that was mrs dash wait a minute was my whole thing a lie? Is that one of those like what do they call those <gasps> those like conspiracy theories what is it called where you think it was something the whole time, but it never really was. What is that? Anyway, we're gonna call it Mrs. Dash. <laughs> anyway, then it adds sesame seeds to it too, some pepper, call it good. Anyway, that's dinner tonight. But yes, it'll be enough to make leftovers for Nate too. Football officially starts, doesn't really feel super real yet, but here we are. Okay, I think that's pretty much done. You're just kind of cooking it through, browning it up a little bit. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to turn it off, but maybe I'll turn it back on for like a minute when I serve everything. But anyway, let's double check this. Hot. See how much louder it gets? All right. That's better. I think it can cook up now without the lid. I love zucchini. You know, a lot of people don't. I think it's a texture thing, but I love it. I always have. I also, speaking of Trader Joe's, saw that they now have a spaghetti squash pasta, which I really want to get my hands on and try. I think it's really nice and convenient that it's already like ready to go in a box and drop it in water for a few minutes to like kind of rehydrate it basically. And I am so there for it. Stepping away from that for a second. <laughs> but spaghetti squash, I would say, is not like hard to make, but takes a lot of time. And as far as like roasting it up in the oven and stuff. And if you're like me in the summer, although I did that big, big baked potato last week, it was delicious. It was. But, but <laughs> I hate turning on the oven if I don't have to really for a long time in the summer. Speaking of which, though, I don't want to jinx anything. Today is like 108, but I believe today might potentially be one of our last, like, really hot days. We will see. Uh, I don't know, but it's looking like the forecast is, like, upper 90s or mid 90s and even some low 90s, which is, like, amazing here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're actually even kind of nearing the end of pool season. And I know this might be a little bit random, but I'm going to totally include it at the end. Nate helped me out so much and I really appreciate it. But you guys know the Vingley brand that sent this over our way and the bench and everything. Well, they sent us over a pool reel for like a pool cover. We do not have one yet, but we got the reel. And if we end up doing a cover, that is going to be so, so nice to have. But if you're in the market at all, that's why I'm going to include it, even
even though it might be kind of random for some of us. <laughs> but uh, I think that'll be so, so nice. And it'll help you out if you're kind of looking to see how one of them works. I'll put that at the end of this video. I will. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to it cooling down. This week has not been fun working out at all. It's just been so, so hot. Like 112. Yeah, no. <laughs> anyway. I love it browned up like that, so good. Oh, I need to add this though too. I'll put that on there, I think it's ready for it actually. I'll save that little bit left just to put a tiny bit on my rice. Yum. Done and done, like 15 minute meal just because that's how long the rice took. <laughs> Yum, so delicious. And there's Nate's for tomorrow, and then a little bit of rice left over. I'm sure the kiddo's gonna steal that and probably have some impossible nuggets with it. That's pretty typical. <laughs> anyway, thought I'd share that with you guys. Hi guys, I am actually making another batch per usual. It's like twice a week this goes down. It makes four servings in this house, but I would say more so like six to eight in most people's homes. <laughs> No, but uh, Nate likes to take a good amount to work. It keeps him full, he loves it. But uh, this oatmeal cake. Now I'm gonna link the recipe in the description box. It's extremely forgiving. Example, if you forget the baking powder, like I do majority of the time, it still works, it's great. <laughs> and I use walnuts, you can use whatever, you know? I use chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. You could do fruit if you want. I've done it once with blueberries. Actually, I think that was like the first time that I did make it, it was that, and that works really well too. So that's what I mean. You can kind of sub out certain things. I'm just adding the protein, but I just started it. But yeah, I just got home about an hour ago from lunch with a friend. Remember I told you guys like a year ago or so that our realtor for buying this house was like my cousin who used to live here, like best friend for many, many years. So then she adopted us, or I should say they, her and her spouse adopted us into the fam and <laughs> we're like good friends now too. And so anyway, went to lunch with her. We went to Veggie Street and I have shared this place before. I'll put it up on the screen though. I've never been in person and we've ordered it, but I know we've done it on like a vlog and stuff like sharing our first impressions and stuff. They have the yucca fries and that's how you say it. I asked the guy there, <laughs> Y-U-C-C-A. And it kinda to me, looks like yucca but they even sell shirts apparently that our fries are not yucca here <laughs> get it and uh but it's yucca they're delicious do you guys remember us sharing that and then nate got like a philly cheesesteak uh sandwich from there oh my gosh it was so good and everything's vegan there and i got like the chicken sandwich and this was like before so that's what i got again today was the chicken sandwich and now they have like this new southwest sandwich but uh, my friend got it in a wrap and she said she, it was really good and i tried it too it was very very good and she's not even vegan so it was good stuff but yeah i would never been in person before we've just ordered it but it was wonderful it was delicious so i'm pretty full but i'm also thirsty it's one of those it feels hot in here let me go check the air real quick <laughs> no we're good I know what they want, hold on. I got me um, one of these beach plum. I have not tried this flavor yet of the LaCroix, but it came in a multi-pack from Sam's Club. Nate and I just went in there really quick yesterday. I didn't even film or nothing, um, but I, we literally got a case of these and it's like a different flavor variety that I don't typically see. And it was this beach plum, smells good and then like this blue raspberry kind i mean it's still clear and everything but that was like the name of it it was delicious mm -hmm. ah. oh, yeah. oh. Mm. that's delicious all right 
Mm. Let me mute the Lifetime movie. Speaking of Lifetime movies, you guys know, by the way, real quick, Orgain Sport Protein Powder. I have now officially put this on our subscribe and save for Amazon because you save like five bucks when you do it and we use it so much now just from shakes, but also this. Anyway, that's what I got so far. The oats, the walnuts, cinnamon, flax, ground flax. That's like the egg and it's good for you. And chocolate chips. Did I say walnuts? Walnuts. Protein powder. That's it. Baking powder. If you remember, there's this movie coming to Lifetime, I think tomorrow, which is yesterday when you're seeing this. And now I can't remember the name of it, but it has that Mena or Mina, Mena Savari in it. I like her. Uh, and it, I think it's like a, based on a true story thing, like they all are. And it looks really intense. We'll see anyway. Okay, now I got mashed up bananas. These ones are ready. What else is I gonna tell you? Speaking of movies, we actually sort of talked about this um, on the Vegan Cuts video, but I cut a lot of it out just because <laughs> that video was already pretty long. And I think though I had like 55 minutes of footage. So I cut a lot, I did. Anyway, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a few new movies or series coming out that I thought I could talk to you guys about here though. First one, don't know the date, I'll look and I'll put it here if I can find it. And everywhere might be a little bit different because that brings me to another one that apparently it's already out, but it's not here. Anyway, first one though, Brendan Fraser doing this new like movie kind of his, I don't wanna say comeback, but kind of. He hasn't really done much lately, right? But it's uh, called Whale. And it's about like, I guess a 600 pound man kind of getting his life maybe together, I hope. I don't know. I, I don't know fully, but I'm excited to see that. I think that'll be good. I'm not exactly sure when that comes out. And I thought I had read originally that like he um, like put on a lot of weight for the role and stuff. And I then saw, I guess that really wasn't the case. Now maybe he put on a little bit, I don't know, but like he, it's mostly prosthetic, which is just incredible what they can do. But yeah, I kind of want to watch that. And then, okay, here's the other two. <laughs> you know, you know that I love, um, I'm just mushing bananas. I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm doing here. What are we even doing? I love my like true crime, that kind of vibe show. What did we talk about last? I don't talk about shows too much. Cause you also know that I watch a lot of stuff on repeat. I'm very weird like that. <laughs> but I think the latest, like the last new show that I watched, which is still like on, is on Hulu, that girl from Plainville. That, that's the kind of stuff that I really, really enjoy is just like, uh, you know, reenactments, I guess, or dramatized, you know, versions, but they're based off of something and they're still telling the story. So I like that because I feel like I'm watching something uh, that I'm like learning too. You know, like something that's actually happened. Anyway, so with that, I know this may not be for everyone, but I am obsessed with this actor, obsessed. And I don't think he's like talked about enough. Evan Peters playing the role of Jeffrey Dahmer in a new series on Netflix. It comes out, I believe it's the 22nd of this month. It's the end of this month-ish on Netflix. And I think he's going to do incredible. I hope I'm right because I first was exposed to Evan Peters with American Horror Story. My gosh, I just feel like he plays roles so well, <laughs> so well, and uh, it's impressive to me. So I just thought like, what a perfect person for it. So I am totally about that. But I guess that's supposed to be like a mini series. And then the last one that's come to mind recently, and you guys know I kind of like the horror movies and that kind of thing. This one might be a little gore though. And I don't hate gore, but I don't love it. I'm more of a psychological thriller person, but do really like Bill Skarsgård and who played it in the new one. 
and there's a movie called Barbarian. And apparently it came out at the end of August. Oh, Nate's trying to beat me on that our step thing. Mm -mm. Oh no, girl. Mm -mm. <laughs> and uh, gives me little updates. Vanilla. So yeah, um, I guess it might be out where you are. I guess it is in theaters some places, but it's not here. And then I looked on the fire stick and I like, you can speak it into the thing and it'll come up. And it, there's a thing called Barbarians with an S. That's not it, it's Barbarian and it did not come up. So I don't know, maybe in a week or so, sometimes it happens like that, but looks kind of interesting. If you're into that kind of thing, might be for you, we'll see. Okay. LaCroix, they're so good. They make you so burpy though. Add your, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta have your banana mush. And you gotta do your dishes. I don't wanna do it. But those are the, the ones that are coming to mind. Now I love the vanilla paste. It's a vanilla bean paste from Trader Joe's. Let me know if you happen to come upon it. Again, it was a seasonal item apparently last year and I have not seen it and I ran out and I love it and I will totally get it again. I was originally using it for this. It's so good. Anyway, milk. Hold on. We keep all the backup liquids in the fridge out in the garage. But you, <laughs> you want to know the, <laughs> the other ones? So last weekend, the vlog that I shared, oh, um, three and a half ish cups of milk. You're good to go. Um, it's our anniversary. Do you guys want to know what we did? I'll tell you what we did. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> We ordered that food that we shared. It was delicious. And then, okay, <laughs> you're either gonna be like, Kim, really? Or Kim, hell yes, because <laughs> I'm obsessed. And then I got Nate on the kick. She's been around a while, so you may totally know who I'm talking about. But I'm, I will say, she's probably not for everybody. But we watched her videos for like hours. That's how we spent our anniversary. It's the best. Trailer Trash Tammy, also known as Chelsea Lynn, on YouTube, I guess on other social media outlets and stuff. Was that two? <laughs> Three? I hate baking. I just kind of eyeball. I really do. Ish, half? Okay. I think that's it. I always feel like I forget something. And sometimes I do. But it always works out. She is the most... It, it, okay, her name's Chelsea Lynn. In real life. She's married to a man who's actually named Greg. <laughs> they play roles, if you will, they're characters. Trailer Trash Tammy, Tammy, and her husband, which is her real life husband, but is Daryl. They are the most, well, she, she is the most vulgar. <laughs> but I love it. I am obsessed. I want one of her merch shirts. I really do. She may not be for everyone. Nate was like, what? <laughs> At first, I mean, he loves that kind of stuff too, but like, I don't think he saw it coming. And then he's totally grown, like she's totally grown on him and we love her. So that's what we did. Check her out. <laughs> love it. Anyway. That's been our, our thing. It's we were in a heat wave last week, okay? We <laughs> been watching too many shows. <laughs> anyway, with that said, I think it is supposed to officially rain tomorrow and Monday. So Saturday, not Sunday, but rain Monday again. It's really smoky out right now. And again, we're in Vegas and I think we had a little bit of kind of a dust storm last night. It was really windy and it hasn't been for a while and it blows up, you know, a bunch of the dirt. But it's also, I think, some of the fires in California. 
yeah so it's not very pretty today it's been pretty for like months and now it's kind of hazy but hopefully that will blow out of here in just the next couple days okay two square big baking cans cooking spray and then you just pour this amongst the two to put if you have like extra bananas that are like really on their way out you can cut them like long ways like thin and long and like lay those on top it's a way to use them up or what i typically do is just sprinkle some more um chocolate chips but yeah not, a, not too much else going on this week Not really, but that's okay too. But yeah, so again, I cut this into four pieces per pan and they're pretty big squares, but I did do the macros kind of on it. This was a while ago and for the whole batter, like all of it, I think it came to like 2000 and something calories for all of it. And then when you, you know, divide it by the servings, it basically one fourth here, math, um, was like literally the same as if you made yourself a typical bowl of oatmeal. So it was not that bad at all. It's pretty much the same thing. You can eat it cold, you can eat it hot. Nate prefers it cold, I prefer it warm. Um, so after it comes out of the oven, it cools and you put them in storage containers. I reheat it if I'm eating one, and then Nate just grabs it and eats it like a granola bar type thing. He does. Um, but we call it oatmeal cake because it really is the consistency of like oatmeal meets cake. Sort of meets, I guess if it was cold, meets like a granola bar chewiness, sort of. It's really, really good. But yeah, it's like 350 calories-ish when you break it all down. Not bad. Okay. Then you bake them for 45, 50 minutes. That's it. All right, we all done. Good stuff. Look at my dishes, look. I don't wanna do it. Well, probably going to wrap it up here. And like I said, I'm gonna add at the end of this, I know again, it may not be for everyone, but I think it could actually be extremely helpful again for if you are someone who has a pool and are considering getting a cover and you would want the reel most likely for that. So here it is, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you guys soon for a haul and then whatever else midweek. Have a good one, my friends. All right, now that we got everything out of the box, it looks like we got our poles, our connectors, our feet, our wheels, all of our excess parts. These are my tools. Now we'll throw it all together. length now that I got it together and you will see that it is way not way wider but what's nice about it is you can adjust it these pieces will kind of come in a little bit tighter as I get the side set up and then we can have it just the right size because if you look over here the reel needs to be right there see how far it goes over so we'll have to shrink that up about four or five feet but it gives you the flexibility to do that by just changing the screws around. So I just made it as long as I could to begin with, because you can always shorten up, and I don't really feel like falling in the pool trying to get <laughs> 
it's kind of nice the screws came in the right place or came in the right holes already so it made that fairly easy but i'm gonna feed this guy into here back in the bolt to secure it don't over tighten anything first of course instructions say so that one. Now we're going to put the wheels on. Do. I have to get it all the way across. Enough goes here. Cool. And then I gotta just adjust that a little bit in and then put the straps on. But cool. So it comes with some foot holding brackets for the other